Hey everyone, Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I uh, just wanted to do a quick video for you of what most at home miners probably don't consider or factor in to their calculations. And what I mean by calculations is we all know that everybody knows what their mining rig or specific GPU should be drawing from the wall as far as electricity. However, they don't factor when they're using what to mine or other calculators electricity costs. As you can see, I got a box fan right here. That box fan is pulling in cool air because I actually live in Florida, which is very humid, especially by a pond, which is back there. And running the AC all the time can kill my electric bill. And it does. When it's really hot here on a Florida day, it does kill my electric bill. But not everybody, when I say at home miner, that doesn't mean every single at home miner is utilizing the mining rigs inside their actual house. For example, Brandon Coin has a garage, or I guess you could call it a shed or a barn or whatever you want to call it, pretty big, where he built a specific area for his mining rigs to live and sit in. Me, on the other hand, I'm taking up my wife's living room. She doesn't like it, but eventually everything's gonna be consolidated. And if you haven't checked out what I got from Red Panda Mining in this box, make sure to stay tuned to the channel for that. But it does get nice and toasty where I am standing right now because I have vaulted ceilings and all the heat rises towards the main crest of the roof over there. But that does cause my AC to run a little bit more. I have a smart thermostat, which is good. If you don't have a smart thermostat in your house and you have at least two rigs in your house, you may want to consider it because it can help you save money uh, unless you're one that likes to keep your thermostat around 72 degrees year round. I don't keep it that low because I know it's going to kill my electric bill, but it is something that we need to consider if we're going to have all of these devices on and running all the time. For example, the NAS is always running. The NVIDIA rig's always running. The one in my main bedroom, which I'm not going to show you, is always running. And this AMD rig is always running. Eventually, everything will be consolidated over there, so that way all the heat's in one central area. And I'm going to try to add some type of additional box fan or cooling to where we can disperse the, the heat a little bit better. Uh, but it is something that at-home miners need to consider. However, I want to hear from you and your thoughts down below. What are most at-home miners, um, what are they not understanding or what are they not taking into consideration when calculating, yeah, I can you know, pay off this GPU in X amount of time, you know, not factoring in, yeah, how many watts is it drawing for how many hashes, but also for cooling that system. A lot of people um, say just throw liquid cooling on it. The, the materials that you would need, the water block and all, to add liquid cooling to each one of these GPUs will cost thousands of dollars that I'm not willing to spend and then resale value can also be impacted by that because maybe I might sell it to somebody but they don't have a way to incorporate liquid cooling in their system. So I go air, stock air fans or stock coolers, all my GPUs for resale value for when that day comes. But additionally, it does create heat. Now unless you're uh, Carter from Bits Be Trippin' who went to uh, Novak Fluid or uh, I think it's Novak. I forgot what the fluid is, but he's basically uh, doing immersion cooling, and that's a really good way to do it. If I had an aquarium, which I do, um, if I had the capability, I would just set the aquarium hip up here and have all my systems in that immersion liquid. Uh, but that's a different time or a different video for a different day. That's pretty much it for me. I just wanted to talk to you about that, you know, especially for all the at-home small-scale miners like myself. You got to factor in cooling. Is it inside your house? Are you using the AC a lot? Is the AC running all the time? How much is your electric bill? Because that does play a role. If this wasn't here, I probably would save close to 80 bucks a month just from the AC running as much as it does with these systems inside my main area. That's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on. And uh, check out some of the links down below where I have affiliate links to help support the channel and where you can join the channel itself and get perks to the, like the Discord, where we got stock notifications, and much more. Don't forget, members will get randomly selected to win some Bitcoin. 
So make sure you join down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Thank you.